peacock, butterfly, there, uh, see that? Peacock and a red admiral, I think that is. There. Oh. I don't know if it is, I could be wrong. I've got hoverflies trying to land on me. And there's another peacock butterfly there. Oh, there's another butterfly there. Oh. This is why you have butterfly bush. <gasps> What's that one? Oh wow, aren't they pretty? Oh, so we've got butterflies, folks. Let's yeah, take some pictures. In on the 1st of August, 2023. 1st of August. Weather. Coat. Cold. Rain. Lovely. Anyway, my hair's a bit wild today because I've just let it be and I haven't done my fringe this is what happened I just put some gel on it today to try and calm it down um, I'm just going to show you the baby chick so oh god that just came off there oh I think that needs fixing so I'm going to need to fix that it's just come off so we're just going to do a bit of chicken watch before we get on with our hang on Need to do a bit of chicken watch before we get on with our um, jobs today in the garden. Anyway, let me just show you the babies. Here are the babies. Oh, I don't know if you can see them. There they are. So they're thriving. They're fine. Mummy's doing a really good job of looking after them. Aren't you, Mummy? You good, Mummy? Yeah. <laughs> So they're all right. Uh, this lot here, yeah. Oh God, what's she doing? What's the matter? Put it down. You're holding up the proceedings. The time the last one comes out, there won't be any food left. Let her get some food, for God's sake. Oh, mummy. Big mummy fatso has ate all the food before these little <coughs> ones even get a chance to come out. Oh. I'll have to give them a little bit more food later because um, by the time I'd fed, it's all right, I'm doing a video. <coughs> what? Pardon? Anyway, here's the other chickens that live in the house. They've just come out. <laughs> no, nothing there. That's one of those things. Isn't That's it? just one of them things. I think the door must have just blew open. Maybe the, the lock has gone on it a bit. Well, you might have done it, but you, you probably there. did. Yeah. More than likely. <laughs> oh, hello. What are you doing there? Oh, she's going back in. Hello. And there they all are, wondering what's going on in the background so they can hear the noise and silence out the back. Oh, oh she's gone back in. <laughs> That's it, they're done for the day. They want to stay indoors. No, you're not coming out, you. So I've got two chickens out here already at the moment, so you can't come out yet. Okay. Right, so they're all fed. So what I had to do here with this house is put it on some bricks. Because this, these stupid little houses are not very uh, good with the wet. This rabbit hutch is a rubbish. So I had to lift it up. Anyway, hello, how are you? Hello, are you okay mate? Hello, no oh, no. I'll get you some more food in a bit. I'll get them some greens. They can have some greens. So I will let these ones out later. But then the others are out at the moment. Just pecking about. Having drinks out of puddles. <laughs> so I let them out. Take turns. They're out first. They'll be out second. Hopefully we can rectify this problem. Looks like it was very windy yesterday. So I'll sign put this here. as a sort of barrier for these chicken houses 
but this one's definitely worked with me lifting it up off the ground onto these bricks because they were getting a bit wet I cleaned them out yesterday and the house was all wet inside we can't have a wet house they're really uncomfortable not very pleasant for them hey you're all right now aren't you hey you're all right now I think these ones are all right inside there's an egg there's an egg oh, it's a bit damp I might have to do the same thing with them might lift them up a bit more they're on wood they didn't have any legs on their house but yeah I had to lift it right up off the ground I've got an egg I had to clean their house while they're out oh I'll do that first before I start um, doing the strimming so okay chicken watch over Suhu and Dan. ends on the 1st of August 2023 and it is uh, not a very nice day it's not raining at the moment it rained all day yesterday I managed to get some stuff done in the polytunnel as you'll see in the previous video if you look um, but today I've come to do some strimming so what I'm planning on doing I was going to strim over by the stables but the chickens I let two of the chickens out so they're over there so I don't want to disturb them so I thought I'd come by the wall and strim a bit round here I can't even spray the salt down because it won't stop raining so I can't even spray the salt down and all that salt spraying I done the other day I think it was a waste of time because it rained directly afterwards so it probably washed it all away so anyway we will not give up with this salt I'm telling you so uh, we definitely need to do something because our car park is rapidly being taken over by grass um, and we can't use chemicals so if anybody's got any recommendations as to what we could use I mean apart from the water which then tends to stir everything up and then you get even more seeds we're really at a loss here and it's getting worse and worse and worse and our car park is, is just turning into this sort of massive like greenery which is a real pain in the bum so anyway I'm going to try and rectify this corner bit today so let's see how we get on by the way my battery's only lost 20 minutes each so I can't do more than 40 minutes of streaming a day which is a pain because I need to get this done and if I had a better batteries didn't realize this when we bought this thing for me um, the batteries take all day to charge up one battery takes all day so you can't even do it quick and then come out again the same day and do it again because the batteries take all day to charge up God knows why they take all day they're only little but they do so anyway we're gonna do as much streaming as we can round here today and then we'll show you once I've done it and okay first of August and I have uh, had a rest I did come um, I did do some strimming uh, so my method with the strimmer is going to work um, I have been looking this rock salt should work so if it doesn't work we're going to add vinegar to it I'm telling you because that will definitely work so what I did over here I'll just show you I've done a patch and I've done some in the middle of the car park but I said to Simon we need to get the other strimmer fixed because I said this could be done in like two days we could get this done or three days uh, but the actual strimming could be done in a day really I mean the whole thing would probably take about three three days so what two one and a half days strimming I reckon and then um, one and a half days uh, no it probably take four days being realistic so probably two days strimming then a day raking and then a day spraying so four days and all it would take I reckon to do it properly anyway let me just show you the little patch that I did before my strimmer ran out now, this is the reason why we need to get a better strimmer use the petrol one I don't know what they're doing next door in the field he seems to be I don't know what he's doing he's doing something anyway I'm just going to show you the patch that I did. It's going okay. to work. I can't remember what the, the SSS system was now. Strim. <laughs> I can't remember. Oh my god. I think I'm going mental. I'm doing these word games now to try and keep my brain from turning into mush um, at the moment. Because I've got to change my tablets again. They're giving me another one. 
because they said my blood pressure isn't going down fast enough for them. Anyway, I'm starting it tomorrow, so I'm not sure about taking three separate tablets. I'm a bit concerned about that. Um, you know, because they, they they want you to be, you know, oh, they're not happy that the blood pressure isn't low enough. It's like, but it's my body that I'm um, putting these drugs in. I don't know what they're doing to me. And I don't think I like it. If they slow me up in any way, I won't be taking them, I'm telling you. Because <laughs> I need to get on and do stuff and I don't want to be an invalid to blood pressure. So, I don't know what that guy's doing over there today. Seems to be on a mission. Anyway, I'm going to just go in now because we're going to go around and help my, our friends put up a bell tent today. In their garden and it's not raining so today's the day to do the bell tent so need to go right i'm just gonna go bye see you in the next video uh, it's bye. the second of august today yeah and it's just started to rain ah oh, i wanted to do some strimming oh, i really wanted to get on and do that strimming over there ah oh. Oh, Enki's looking at me, he's like, Mum, what are we doing out in the rain? It's just literally started to rain as I've put the camera on. <clears throat> i got my strimmer over here. Oh, it's really fine. I don't know, it might be all right. I might try, at least. Um, probably going to rain all day again anyway. Anyway, yesterday it let up and we helped our friends put up their bell tent. That was fun. That was really good. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, really annoying. Enki's not liking it, but it's really fine. So I think we're going to try and do a bit of strimming for about 10 minutes or so um, and see how far we get before it really pours down with rain <laughs> and then we're going. So we're hot. Anyway, let me just show you what back I'm Back over do. here. I did clear a bit of this yesterday. So I cut out these brambles here because they are a real pain in the bum. Probably shouldn't have put them just there where the gate is though, eh? There's my little friend. He's really friendly. My little friendly pheasant. Aren't you? I just fed him. Huh? You're a little friendly pheasant, aren't you? You don't run away. He runs towards me. Oh God, I got caught up with the brambles. I knew I would. Oh, oh no. Oh, he's coming. Oh my God. Seriously? Oh, I don't think Enki's going to like it out here. Hello! Hello, my friend. Right. Oh, I wanted to do some streaming, Mr. Friend. What are we going to do? Should we try for a minute, hey? Should we try? Anyway, I'm just going to go and have a look at the pond. I'll let you know if I'm going to do any streaming. Okay. See you in a minute my strimming so I've done all round here up that path there and I've strimmed off these weeds here round here this bit here over to there round the gate uh, over there a bit uh, round this bit along this bit and that was one strim session that's that done and then the other strim session that I managed to do was over by that wall there where the gladiolis are i was going to start streaming the other side and i caught one of the gladiolis i keep doing that so i'm just going to go along with the hedging shears and uh the edging shears and just um stream along this bit of wall here so i'm going to do that um uh, take the dog in first so I streamed along the wall a bit because otherwise the grass starts growing out of the wall and I just want to keep right next to the wall tidy. See I streamed one of the gladdies again. <laughs> oh it was there. Anyway so I'm going to go through here today. Just pull out the grass so it doesn't get too messy. And I was going to do the back but as you can see it's a bit intense with the primulas at the moment. So I don't really want to cut half their heads off. Um, so I'm going to leave that. I'll just try and straighten up some of these uh, gladiolis because they all seem to be bent everywhere. 
Oh, look at the amount of grasses in this bit. So I'm going to have to go through here and just take the grass out so it doesn't start taking over. But I did manage to trim along the edge here. So, and it is a bit damp to be trimming. And this bit here I've done and around there. So I managed to do all that. Look at the river today. The river's really high because we've been raining a lot. <sighs> Look at that. Yeah, so you can't see any at the bottom today. And there you go, there's the river today. It's quite fast going there. Look. Well, I still haven't picked any of this meadow sweet. Anyway. And then we'll still need to trim through here. I need to get a better strimmer. This is no good for like heavy duty strimming, of which there is a lot of. And if I want to strim the whole of the car park, which I do, my strimmer is not going to hack it. It's not going to be strong enough for that. So I need to remind Simon to contact the guy to fix the strimmer. Anyway, look at the snow in summer there. And the nasturtiums are really taking off in this bed. I need to just go in here and just pull out some of the docks. They're really superficial, these weeds, look. They're like right near the surface of the soil. So I will like take some time out and do that because I actually really enjoy doing that. I couldn't swim around here for obvious reasons. Uh, but I will go through here and just take out some weeds. Just to keep it under control. Uh, all my controlled garden areas are kept nice and that's the way to do it is just do a small patch of the garden at a time a bit that you can control um, at least then you feel like you're in control of your whole garden then don't look at the whole garden like what I'm walking on I mean look at all these plants uh, you know just don't look at it <laughs> I can't stream around this wall anyway because as I said it's a bit wet. Uh, yeah, there's a few weeds in there we need to just go through. Just put my gloves on and I'll just go through here. Pull out these bits of weed and I'll have it all nice and tidy again. And just keep doing that. Um, yeah, let it get there. We've got some people coming at the end of October. But that's the end of October. This would have all died back by then. Uh, look at my patch though. See, look, look at the difference that has made. So I really, really do need the other strimmer sorting out and then I can strim this patch. I wasn't going to use the other strimmer because it's quite heavy, but I think I'm strong enough to, to use it now, you know. I think I could manage. I want to do it because it's really getting on my nerves and I just want my garden sorted out. Because uh, we're going to get the patio done soon. So we need to get the rest of the garden to match the patio because the patio is going to look amazing. Anyway, let's have a look through here, because I haven't actually done a tour around here. Uh, so the fennel, yeah, it's looking alright. I'm probably going to cover it up soon, um, so that it doesn't get trampled all over. The purple sprout and broccoli, I definitely think it's come to the end. It's got the, the little florets, are smaller and smaller, and they're all going to seed really quick. Uh, so I think I might pull them out, give a couple to the chickens, they could do with some. Uh, that has got completely gone by birds, that has, uh, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, these are growing, and yeah, whatever they are. <laughs> um, these cabbages are alright, I did make sauerkraut with the last lot. I'm probably going to make some sauerkraut with this lot as well. It's a good way of preserving them and then we can put our up-and-coming um, brassicas, romanesco, um, purple sprout and broccoli and brussels sprouts hopefully they haven't germinated yet in these beds. In here we still haven't put the strawberries in we will get round to doing that these ones are growing just need to weed it. Uh, I'm going to put a layer of um, hay on them I think to keep them warm once I've done that bed properly anyway uh, asparagus is looking good over there amongst the weeds I might have to weed that so I can see where the asparagus is 
and our potatoes over here yeah they're fine they're, they're starting to die back now I do not want to harvest them until the end of this month so I'm not harvesting them till the end of this month I don't need them and I don't look look what I just spotted though <laughs> wow we got some in there so we did give these a feed of phosphogen oh no epsom salts i gave them a feed of epsom salts so i'm gonna take open this take off them monkey leaves but as you can see the new growth is coming through now which looks a lot healthier than these outer growth leaves so i gave them a dose of epsom salts um which has magnesium in them in it and they're growing so I reckon within the next few days we can, oh look, Saint's munched on the end of that one, we can take some. Anyway, uh, over here, yeah, my next plan is to, I need to like do these trees. I've got my, I've got my whatever you call them, oh, bandages and the ties now. So I'm going to do that tree first. Um, and then I'm gonna oh I need to take that sucker out off of it and take them little ones off the bottom and then um, I think it's all right that tree I don't can't, I can't see like where I would where I would cut it it's supposed to have one main stem though so they've cut the main stem off so the main stem would have been there and they've made it so free because I was reading on apple tree, it's supposed to have one main stem. But I suppose you could choose whichever one you could have as the main stem, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, looks like we've had a bit of slug damage again in here. To be expected. But on the whole, I think it's growing. The stock is starting to grow, the night scented stock. I was really worried about them. This is growing. This is growing, so that's good. So... They have to, they always get knocked back your plants before they start like, oh, they got to like do their root system, you know. they got a lot of work to do under the soil before they start like throwing out growth and stuff like this holly here, which I think will be perfectly okay, but it's losing a lot of its uh, leaves at the moment. But as I can see, I can see new growth coming, so I reckon it'll be all right. A bit like the bubbliers you know uh, but the night scent is stuff I'm really happy I know these things are going to go mental so I need to dig some of them up um, and put them in the other garden there's that little um, plant that I planted the other day I planted these the other day I'm not sure what they are <laughs> our little rose is doing all right there and we need to get oh yes we need to put in these um, buddliers don't we We've got lots of uh, comfrey. These are the nicotinia. They're starting to look. That one's getting a flower on it now. And we're going to go and plant the tree. We're going to plant these four um, crab apple trees. They need to be planted. But anyway, there's a lot to do. Uh, I might do some of that today because the soil is quite soft to plant trees. I'm thinking. Anyway, our poppies are still going. It's stopped raining now, I need to go in now, because I need to go. Anyway, it's all looking good, the pond's looking alright. I think the actual, it's dying down the green, isn't it? It's gone a different colour now. I haven't actually done anything, because I got put off by the formaldehyde in the, um, I should have looked better, in the Blagden that I bought. It's got formaldehyde in it, which I don't think it would be good for your pond. I don't want that in my pond <laughs> so I'm not using it I should have checked first but it didn't actually say I should have done more investigating so note to self Sue make sure you investigate any kind of um, things that you put on your garden before you know make sure that they haven't got nasties in I think formaldehyde is not a nice thing and I would upset the apple cart of the you know of the, of the pond which is brand new and just rainwater basically that's a tiny little bit of um, uh, tap water that I put in um, 
in I think it was June when it was really hot and the water level started going down but apart from that that was only a little bit hardly any and it's, it's holding its own with the rainwater so we're trying to keep it as natural as possible we've got all these nasturtiums growing in the water now so look at all this ground pond cover here so that's good anyway so i'm gonna go now and i'll see you again soon let you know what i'm getting up to later okay bye